Improving the quality of life for women of childbearing age and that of their children is what informed this gathering organized by the United Nations Population Fund. Statistics from the United Nations Children Education Fund shows that 2,300 under five-year-olds and 145 women die daily. This tragic history, according to experts, can be reversed when women have access to the use of contraceptives and space their children. The Federal Ministry of Health domesticated these commitments by identifying key strategic steps to ensure an increase of in Nigeria. And this includes support advocacy, strengthening accountability, improving supply chains, increasing contraceptive supply, and promoting best practices and supporting new innovations. In 2014, Nigeria took a decisive step and developed a blueprint for family planning. The blueprint determines strategies for reducing barriers to the uptake of family planning commodities. For instance, it recommended that as a demand question activity, the family life and living child education curriculum be fully integrated into school health programs. While a major challenge to effective family planning by most women is said to be socio-cultural, the executive director of the United Nations Population Fund is of the opinion that advocacy to women who are yet to key into the use of contraceptives is necessary. Let's work with government. Let's make sure that the resources we bring to the table speak to government and let government determine where those resources will go. Traditional rulers lent their support to government. I sure all of you of our total commitment, not only to child, mother, survivor, but all health issues. For me and my entire kingdom, I have dedicated the throne to healthcare delivery, and we have already set up a foundation that is called House of Hope to Do a Foundation that is driving that initiative. We have a lot of mothers and children that we're taking care of on a daily basis. Nigeria currently has a contraceptive prevalence rate of 15.1%, but hopes to upscale it to 30% by 2018. It is hoped that with the support of key players, this target will be met.